What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today's video we got something that I didn't really know about in the game until recently. That is how to unlock the Mastercraft and Reactive Camos in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. In case you don't know what this is, eh, let's go ahead and skip to it. Boom. This is what it is. In order to start unlocking Reactive and Mastercraft Camos, first things first, you have to get every headshot you need for the weapon that you're trying to unlock the camos for. After that, Reactive's challenge will be up, and then once Reactive's challenge is up, you just complete it, and then you basically have another challenge to unlock Mastercraft. Now let's go ahead and start unlocking the Reactive camo. So the thing about the Reactive camo is, you can equip it before you unlock it, but it'll look like it does right now on the screen, and in order to make it look normal, you have to complete the challenge. I don't know if you need the camo equipped in order to complete the challenge or unlock the uh, camo. But I did because I wanted to see if it would change in the middle of the game. And it does. Let's go ahead and get this kill. Let's go ahead and actually, I believe we take B. And uh, yeah, my next kill should be the one where I unlock reactive camo. I see that we're losing B. I turn around, boom, get him. There it is. The camo is unlocked in the middle of the game. And it looks just like that. There goes the challenge right there going across the screen. And I honestly didn't even know I unlocked it when I was playing until I aimed down the sights and noticed my gun was a different color. All right, now let's go ahead and check out how to unlock the Mastercraft camo right now. So once you get back, you'll see that you have reactive camo unlocked, and there it is. Unlock Mastercraft camo by killing 50 enemies. And I killed 26 in the last game after I unlocked the <laughs> reactive camo. Let's go and show some gameplay of me working to unlock Mastercraft camo. So in this match, we don't earn the uh, final camo, the Mastercraft camo. However, we do see, boom. The reactive camo does change colors, and the way I think this camo works is, depending on the type of medals you get, it depends on what color your weapon is at the time. I think for Avenger medals, it is the color right there, and then for, I believe, uh, I believe it's payback medals, it goes back to default green and uh, blue, green, purple, whichever one it is. For Savior medals, I think, uh, I think it's Savior, it goes into this awesome looking white and purple camo in fact i think i'm about to earn it there it is right there look at the way that looks and no that's the kingslayer it's not the avenger and this right here is the match where i eventually earn the mastercraft camo in fact i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the gameplay and i'll talk some more once the game well once this match is over Be advised, hostile attack deploy beacon active.
UAV standing by. All right, before I forget, and at this point, someone notices my camo and asks me to hold up a second, in which case I'm like, huh, okay, yeah, you want to see it? Yeah, this camo looks sick. And he also is like, that camo looks so cool. And yeah, he asks me how to unlock it. Uh, I don't really have my mic near me at the time. So the only thing I do is keep playing the game. I do eventually let him know how to unlock the camo, but it's after this match, before the next one. I mean, yeah, so yeah, this camo is pretty sick, though. I like the way it looks, the way it changes colors, everything about it is so sick. All right, back to the gameplay. Be advised, hostile attack deploy beacon active. Alright, so I'm about to unlock the Mastercraft camo, boom, and look at this color. Between this and the white and purple one, I don't know which one's my favorite, but without a doubt, those two are my two more favorited <laughs> camos. Boom, there we go, we got the Soldier of Fortune Mastercraft camo. Ooh, I'll let you guys enjoy the gameplay until the very end without any more interruptions, and we'll check out the Mastercraft, game uh, Mastercraft camo after this, as well as show it in a little old game of its own. Ooh, now let's check out the Mastercraft camo. Personally, I'd prefer the reactive camo over Mastercraft camo, but let's go and check it out. Ooh, look at that camo. Now let's go and show it off in a gameplay of its own. And uh, I don't know what I do, but throughout the game, the camo gets brighter and brighter. And I don't know if it's because I got kills with it or because I just stayed alive with it. Let me know what you guys think causes the weapon to change when it comes down to how bright it is. Anyways, now let's go and let the rest of this gameplay play out, and I'll talk some more at the end.
We've taken control. Hostile UAV circling. Taking the lead. We're almost there. Close this out. Shut them down. UAV standing by. In the turn, sensors are capture your objective. UAV mission timeline 50% extended. Your UAV has been destroyed. And that is gameplay of me unlocking the Messcraft camo as well as how to unlock the Messcraft camo. In order to unlock them though, you do need to first get a weapon variant from the black uh, market. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.